Hey, what's up, chimichangas? So today um, was supposed to be a very eventful day, and it actually turned out to be an eventful day, but it was supposed to be an eventful day outside of this vehicle. Let me catch you up. So, got a bunch of heavy jackets. Papa is in a heavy jacket, and there is snow everywhere we look. Now, you see that? You see that? Look at all that beautiful snow. And we're gonna get none of that. But well, we were trying to take advantage of how it rained last week, and then we saw the snow-capped mountains of the Bernardino, whatever, the Galinos. Wow, look at all this snow! And then so we're like, ooh, let's go take Tiger to see snow. And this is our attempt number two. And I forgot to bring his damn shoes. So he can't even put his feet on the ground. And I went to one of those stores, we went to two stores already, and the biggest uh, mittens, I also forgot to buy mittens, and the biggest mittens were, um, they're like for kids already, and he doesn't have shoes, so he can't really get out. You know what we can do? What? Oh my god, it's right here. <laughs> what if we, what if I just... What his if, little feeties are going to be hella cold. He has no protection on his feet. What if I put him in my jacket and just stick his little head out here? What's the point? <laughs> we get to be in it, not him. That's true. Damn I can it. put him on his blue disc somewhere. If I could just find... No, you know the way he is. He wants to get in it. I know. All right. Well, where are you? Do you know where you're going? I'm just driving closer and closer to the snow, hopefully finding like a smooth spot. I can put them on a blue disc. And also, I decided to choose Mountain High thinking it's closer. I think I made the bad move because it's closer. I think everyone's trying to get here. You know, when I walked into the board shop, you know what the first thing they said? The minute I walked in, they're like, ski lifts are full. All tickets are full. Parking lots are full. We don't have any more tickets. But if you would still like to rent, that'd be at your own risk. So I guess they're so like We're backed up. Here. They're so backed up. We haven't up. even moved here. Fine, I'll get out of here. Yeah, please. So yes, that's what happened to us today. Oh good, because it's already blocked off over there. It's not a through street. Oh my gosh. Well, this show nice. Is it? It's cold, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, look at the think? floor. There's snow on the floor. I love seeing snow on the floor. There's almost never snow on the floor. <laughs> now we know he likes snow on the floor. It's beautiful. Oh, my God, you guys. Imagine all the fucking pictures I can take right now and look hella fly because everything is all white, so my face is going to be glowing like an angel. I wonder if we just take some pictures. We just get out, take some pictures, hold them so his feet never touch the floor. Fuck, why did I say that? You want to do that? Not really. And bam, four wheel drive, baby, baby. I'm hella cold. Four wheel drive is on, I'm ready to rock and roll, go anywhere. The only reason why I say no, no not really, is because as soon as we take that guy out of his car seat, yeah. we are fucked. What do you That's, mean? Because he wants to stay out. Oh, uh, so when we put him back in, he's gonna be. He's like, gonna, it's fucking. Like, I wanna play, I wanna end play. of the world, yeah. Okay. Is this lady in a robe? Yeah. She's in a robe. Oh, you're getting in trouble. Ha <laughs> ha, they got in trouble. Oh yeah, let's see what we're gonna do now. It wasn't too far of a drive, it was like about an hour. I know that's why I chose it, because it wasn't too far, but then now I know it's, everyone wants to come here, it's just packed. <laughs> we can go to REI right now, to prevent anything for next Ooh, weekend, and then just pack. you know I love REI. And we'll just, oh, we should tell Tiff and Case to come with us, because they're gonna go to Iceland or something. Oh yeah. Um, and they need to go to REI anyway. Like, hey Tiff, you wanna meet us at REI in two hours? Yeah. Well, actually, maybe an hour. Yeah, an hour. Okay, I'll tell them. We could have be with our friends. And then if we go to REI, you know we gotta go to H Mart too. Do you have to stock up on any Asian groceries? No, but I can always stock up on Asian groceries. Okay, fine. Oh damn! It just turned out to be a really cool day. Now let me go hit them up. Do you want it? Want to see their phone numbers? I can. Uh, you can call them too. Just kidding. <laughs> Look how funny Taika looks. I forgot his shoes. So his onesies are sticking out of his pants. These aren't even the socks. It has grip on it though. Would you let him walk around like that? No. Why? The floor's cold. But he has the little grip things. Yeah, but it's not shoes, so the, it's cool. Hi. I have a question for you then. If we buy shoes for him, would you want to put socks over these guys or would these count as socks? These count as socks. Okay, he's got to put socks with the shoes. Yeah. Deja, deja, deja. Thank you. Get us uno? No, yeah, 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 yeah. Uno nomás. Uno nomás, no. A ver, a ver, la tarjeta, dámela. ¿Qué dice? I don't know what it says. 
say? What do they say? She asked him, what does it say? But it's so cute because since we're here and they have cats everywhere, he's like, ah, he's a cat. Yeah, he's like, gato. Gato. Oh, good! Yeah, it's the Mexican jeans. Yeah. yeah, he's That's not allergic why. to anything yet. He does have a little bit of eczema. Oh, really? Where yeah, on his little legs. Aww. But not enough for it to make him uncomfortable. It's just when we change his diaper, he has it. Which is weird because both me and Gia don't have it. Oh, yeah. interesting. My sister has it. Oh, oh really? My little sister, yeah. She has eczema. Oh, crazy. And anyone on your side out? Your mom? None of us have eczema. Oh. oh the dang. Nicole, that came from my side. What? The Mexican side? I know, Mexicans must be immune to everything. I know, right? I want my money back. <laughs> Stupid return policy. False advertisement. Interesting. Mama bear. It's like the what Italian in the soda. What world did you order? Ooh. Oh shit. Oh dang. Uh oh, is it growing? Oh, is it gonna come out? I think we good. What did Get you it? order? Of course. Of course. Of course. What did you order, baby? Passion fruit float. Which is pretty good. It's bomb? It's pretty good. Oh, okay. So we're at Jazz Cat. There's a bunch of them. It's like a chain Taiwanese shabu shabu place. And I really like, so, so I'm really into branding, right? So one thing I like about Jazz Cat is they live up to its name. This is the weirdest branding ever. It, it's weird. It is, but it they stick even, to it though. But no, what are we listening to Jazz? Yeah. When I saw her, I That's soul. So they play only, they play, yeah, so jazz is, so soul, rock and roll, old school rock and roll, old school R&B, all came from jazz. This is all jazz. So it's cool that they have the logo, it's piano and a cat. The weird part to me though is that it's started by like Taiwanese people, which is, I'm like, what do you guys know about jazz and soul? But I don't know, I guess. And uh, they got crazy drink selections. I tried to order Hokkaido milk tea because I love that, but I guess they're out. So. Oh, yeah, we should have told you they were out. Uh, we okay. just let you order it. But I, I tried the hazelnut milk tea. I tried ordering that, so that might be pretty good. And, what are you doing? Uh, what else did I order? Oh, yeah. And usually when I get shabu shabu, I love shabu shabu, but for some reason, when Tiff ordered, it kind of threw me off. I, <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna get shabu shabu, Why? and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get fried pork chop. I'm like, oh yeah, shit. Yeah, it looked good. I'm an influencer. I got a fucking <laughs> car because of Tiff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. We got the car because of Tiff. It threw me off completely because I was never gonna get that. Yeah, you're gonna get else. an X5. You are an influencer. <laughs> oh my god, I was destined for this job. Yeah. No, because like, I love shabu shabu, right? And I don't get it enough because it's hard to eat with them because it's all these hot plates. But when I came here, and then when you ordered the fried pork chop, I'm like, Oh, I get Taiwanese food even less than I get shabu shabu. So I was like, I better get some Taiwanese food. So I got, I got this guy, Taiwanese sausage with fried pork chop. Oh, oh that Taika cool. got. He got the exact same plate. Yeah. Yeah. What did he get? The Taiwanese sausage and pork chop. Yeah. Popcorn chicken. Oh, popcorn right? chicken. Yeah, yeah, it's oh, good. Yeah. Oh, but you got Hey, hey, stop. Go. Oh. Push it. We order these oh. curry fish balls or golden fish balls. If you ever come Jazz Cat or any of them, you have to get this, it's so good. Golden fish balls. Get the ones that are fried, you'll see. It's so delicious. Ready? Oh, so scary. <gasps> You're out, dude. You're out. You have to slide without falling. There you go. Oh, that's like magic. Good job. Hey! Good job, dude. Okay, no more, no more, no more. <laughs> Immediate tantrum. No Do it with the bowl. Oh, sorry. Hey. Oh, damn. I almost swiped at you. Got a question for you guys. You know how uh, you're not supposed to hit girls, um, but they say if girls hit you, then, then uh, it warrants a guy smacking the girl back sometimes. Well, what if a kid hits you? Wait, what? It doesn't warrant any sort of hit, like any sort of violence. If it's it self-defense, it warrants self-defense. That's true, but some people they go, oh, she was asking for it. If it's self-defense. Oh, okay. That just shows they just don't know how to resolve conflict. Was that okay. self-defense when he swiped at you? Did this hit him back? No, that's not self-defense, because I'm pointing, trying to do ET. Oh, fine. What was the question? The, I guess my question was, when can we beat kids? That's, that's what I'm really trying to get down to. Never beat? 
I, I don't know if you, you say you speak English and you're always using the wrong words. So do you really mean B? When can we give him love taps? <laughs> now. Hell uh, yeah. Do you agree? <laughs> love taps? Yeah. This is a love tap. Yeah, right there. See? Ooh, tap. Yeah. I love you. A four knuckle, love tap. four knuckle love tap. We'll look at the, uh, like, it, it. It. Yeah, do it right now. He's doing it now. Uh, you guys are good. You guys, are good. you guys should be lawyers. Boom. Oh, damn, that's fast. Where would you like to sit? Um, at this one. Damn. Oh, that looks too much sass. Just like a mama, dude. Oh, what did I? Oh, kimchi. Oh, shit. I ordered that. Yeah, you got the kimchi. Yeah, yeah I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> what did you want? No, I, this is what I wanted. I just didn't realize. Are these paws? Oh, how cute! Oh, that is cute. Paws. They're cat, oh, and these are cat ears. Dang, it's, a whole, it's a straight up cat. Babe, yeah. it's a straight up cat. No I told you their branding's on point. They even got a cat shaped bowl. You want me to learn, Jal guys, something? If you guys ever get milk tea and there's no bubbles on top, go to a new place. You know why? Why? Is that, oh, I know why, I know why, why? I know why. Tell them. Because it wasn't shaken. Exactly. So a true, it? a true like Taiwanese milk tea place, uh, with the, how they ice it, instead of letting the tea melt the ice and get all watery, they'll get the tea and the milk. So the tea's hot, the milk's cold, and then they hand shake it real quick to chill it. And so it usually has a froth. A true Taiwanese milk tea place. I didn't know that. That's what really sets it apart. Yeah. yeah, I know, and the bubbles look just so like refreshing. Like, I want to drink that. Yeah, so you know that the milk <laughs> tea hasn't been sitting there all day. Yeah. They're actually separate ingredients until you order it. Oh, uh, that's good to know. Milk tea is only then, right? Milk? Yeah. I think Taiwanese milk is like coffee. Thank you. <laughs> Why? Well, I don't know. I've just been drinking Taiwanese milk tea my whole life, like since I was like four. Or, so I just know how it's supposed to be made. That's like the only expertise I know. Yeah, because I think it's a new thing. It's like a European thing. Uh, I fucked up. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a funny clip. That's I a fucked funny up. clip, yeah. All right, so I fucked up. So the technique was on point, right? They shook it for sure. I could tell even by the ice that they shook it. But I got too fancy. This is a Taiwanese place. If I just stuck to traditional milk tea or traditional Hokkaido milk tea, I think I would have been good. But I had to throw in the hazelnut, and the hazelnut tastes like the flavoring they use at... 7-Eleven, so it has like a really weird aftertaste and just throws it off. So much to the point where I think I'm gonna order another drink. I know, I'm bougie like that now. Ever since I became a superstar on YouTube, changed my ways. So we might have to we might have to move in with you guys soon because Bart just spent a little way too crazy. I almost never get Taiwanistas. So if I get, I gotta get it right. Then why do you fucking go off the menu? Hazelnut? Do they have hazelnut shit at fucking in Taiwan? I fucked up. I really did. I really did fuck up. That's why I told you I fucked up. He admitted it in the beginning of this clip. Thank you for getting my back. I'm Thank surprised you. you didn't order a fucking tequila right now. They have it on there? Yeah, they. I don't know. They have wine and shit. They have sake. Sake might be good. Taiwanese and Japanese Stop. people are pretty close. Stick to what you know. I know. I'm just getting regular. Nice. Ooh. Try it, it's bomb. It's like these fried curry fish balls, it's so good. The basil, even the crispy basil is good. You can mm -hmm. eat the basil. Snaps. It's a little bit hot. Whoa, right? with the forky little guaylo. Oh. No chopstick. I don't have to. Oh, I do. I didn't see them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. What'd you order? I think it looks ridiculous. Ooh. Cordon blue something. That's like a giant hash brown. They said that it's like pork chop and then cheese and then pork chop. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Dude, these guys are so dope. So thinking that it was an Asian place, I was like, hey man, um, I fucked up with my taste buds. I'll still pay for it. Can I just get another drink? And he goes, no, 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 no. It's cool. Well, we'll cover it. No, no, no. I'll pay for it. Because I'm only used to like American places like covering it, you know? But they were nice enough to take it. But oh, do you think you could take this? I'm not gonna take this. Oh, you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I guess the Asian part is they forgot to take the old thing and just left it there. Ready? Look at that. That's crazy. Just straight up cheese in the middle. Woo! It just melts. Oh, damn! Like it's a hot pocket. Damn. Wow, like a hot, hot pocket. pocket. Mm. You know how the cheese just comes out of a hot pocket. Mm -hmm. Hot pocket. 
Hot oh, pork chop. <laughs> Eat it. I want to, I'm excited to see if it's good or not. Okay. Damn, you're stuttering. You're so excited. <laughs> I love food. You know me. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Okay. Ship blown. I thought it looks hot as hell. <laughs> I'm so glad we have the relationship that we have. Why? Wow. <laughs> I could have said it dirty, right? Really? He's like, yeah, just blow on it. <laughs> I know it's hot as hell. Because <laughs> you're behind the camera. You just have dirty minds. Yeah. No, because I'm, I'm trying to crack my egg and I heard it. Yeah, just blow on it. Just make sure to blow on it. That looks pretty hot. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Taika's laughing with this too. Mess? Okay. Get it, Mess? Is it good? Really? I like it. You can taste the cheese. Yeah. As much as I thought you would. Yeah. Does it taste more Asian or more like Western? I don't know. Can't tell. You know what it? No. Really? Taste it. No, no, because I'm in the mood for Taiwanese food. Maybe after I eat my Taiwanese food, I'll eat a bite of that. It kind of tastes. I think it is because it tastes kind of like sweet. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like the yeah. sweet, like the coating that they do the fried chicken or the pork chop. Yeah. I think that's what it is. It tastes good. I like it. Hell yeah, I'm out of pucker. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Taiwanese sausage, rice, and taika food. That looks good. Uh, chicken. Time to eat. And now, as planned, we're at my favorite store in the whole wide world. R E M F I. About to get this guy some snow stuff. So hopefully, are we really gonna try to go next weekend? Yeah. Okay, third time's a charm. <laughs> True. Hopefully we can get him some, get him in the snow, get him some little mittens, maybe some little shoesies, and uh, I'm gonna have to get some jackets and some stuff myself. Are you gonna get any jackets or anything? Yeah. <laughs> I like your face. <laughs> I love this store so much. The minute you come in here, just screams outdoors. Tent. I already have a tent, a pretty dope one, and it makes me just want to get another one. I don't even know what bag this is, but it looks dope. I fucking need to get this. What is this thing? Oh, I love REI brand stuff. You know what's so dope about REI stuff? Since they carry the top brands like North Face, Marmont, Gregory, uh, Patagonia, they do their own research, so they're always like taking bags apart and figuring out what makes them really, really good, and they combine everything they like about all the brands that they carry and they make their own. So I'm a big, big, big fan of REI stuff. I might have to leave with some stuff today. Oh dear God, someone hold me back. Oh my goodness, I think I just saw the cutest thing in the world. This is the look only this one. Guy. Ben, Ben, Ben. Look at the other rain boots. <laughs> huh? No, they're eight. He wears a six. Come here, mister. Come here, Taika. But it's snow, you know? How yeah. That's awesome. He's going to be so ready for it. <laughs> they're That's size awesome. eight though, and he only wears a six. Like but it looks like room. it fits. It does. It looks like it fits him. Um. Good job, mister. Oh, he moves around pretty good. Those things are so cute. They're so cute. Yeah, these are the only ones, though. Can we go back to the snow tonight? It's like meant to be. It's for you to find them. Yeah, oh, it kind of matches his mama's. Oh, a little bit. That's cute. Okay. Just got home, and we're home to a clean house. Everything is put away like it's supposed to. And this guy is such a big boy. How come we're always sitting on a chair now? Oh my god, he is so big. Just sitting there drinking her milk, watching TV. That's crazy. But yeah, we, uh, Ma Bear was smart. And before we left, she put everything away. So when we came back, we're back to a clean house. And then now we can start the week. Super awesome, ready to rock and roll. My brother, look at your son. He's just sitting, he's just been sitting there by himself. Hi! <laughs> crazy guy. What's that hot picture? I see a hot no. picture. Yeah, I want to see it. You told me to send it to you. I want to see it. No, then yeah. I'll show you in private. Oh, I want to show you in private. It's because so that's fun. what normal people do. I'm fine. Sorry, guys. What? I had a fun time seeing the snow inside of the car with you. <laughs> I know. Well, it turned out to be a good day because then we hung out with Tiff. We had lunch with her and then we caught up with Case and we helped them shop for winter travel. Yeah. Well, it's not winter, but just snow, like cold travel. Yeah. 
I always think it's so cool when like I have experience in something or when we have experience in something. Like since we did the uh, like six or seven or eight or I don't know how many country tour, we and we've done Europe in the cold so many times. Like we know about base layers and how to layer up and how you need a shell and all that stuff. And we're able to pass that knowledge on to Casey and Tiff because they're gonna go to Iceland, and I, so I think that's gonna be really cool. But I'm the most excited about these guys. These, these little freaking rain boots. Little CUNY guy over there. That's so CUNY. Oh my god, look at these. And they're waterproof. Now you could officially play in the gutter without getting his stuff wet. You're almost done? Damn, you're pounding that milk, huh? Woohoo, you're done. That was some good stuff, huh? You want to know what? Let's end this thing right now. We call it Fight's Over. Take a look. Yeah. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. I'll help you. Please. I'm just watching you. It looks scary. What are you trying to do? Can you hold your hand? It's hard to climb with a bottle. What do you want to do? You want to get, get high up? Like down there? Like that? There. There you go. Oh, you want to be on the chair? Okay. Okay, this guy's getting crazy. You wanted to put on the counter. Okay. Alright, this is starting to look dangerous. I have to put the camera away. I think I need both hands. I have to put the camera away because I don't know what you're doing. This guy amazes me every day. But I have to give shout outs to his wonderful mama. Because his mama teaches him so many things. Because he has such an awesome mama. But this kid is not even a year and a half yet. And he knows how to feed himself. Robert's been teaching him in baby steps, and his time is a little bit off, of course. Like, he opens his mouth either way too big or way too early, or he spills it all over himself. I should have put the bib on. But his mama taught him so much. You're such a good mama, you know that? Oh, thank you. I just like teaching independence. He will choose when he wants to apply it. And this guy likes independence, too, so he wants to apply it right away. So good. You did a good job, mister. Yeah, he's awesome. Is he going to start changing his own diaper? He's been. Oh, shit. I, yeah. mean, I missed it. Yeah, he washed the dishes earlier. Oh, wow. He's a little slow. Why are you so slow? You gotta learn to wash the kitchen. <laughs> Good job. You little mouth. I just feel so useless now. What do I do with myself? Yeah, all right. There's infinite things we could do. I mean, he's doing everything. Tomorrow's going to start doing our taxes. That'd be awesome. Hey, that'd be fun. <laughs> Don't this time. <laughs> come, come, come. Everyone got to go pee pee. Me love. Especially you. I know your style. You want to pee inside all the time, don't you? Go outside. Come here, me love. Me love, go. Go pee pee. Good boy. You too, funny. Go outside, go pee pee, go. Go pee pee, go pee pee, go pee pee, go pee. That's not pee pee, me, well, god damn it. Anyways, we wrapped up down here. It's time for us. Are you whistling a oh, go pee pee song? Shit. I don't know. You were filming. <laughs> you were kidding What'd you say if I'm doing a what? If you're whistling my go pee pee song. No, it's going la 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 la. La 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 la. I don't even know where that's from. Because I was going go pee pee, go pee pee. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, wrapping up down here. Time for us to go to bed. Thank you guys for following us along with the day. Hopefully, next week, third time's a charm. We got everything ready. Take Taika to go see the snow. And um, if you guys like the content that we make, don't forget to support our brand, barbabrigade.com, me and Ma Bears Apparel and Gym Company. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.